Hello everyone, I'm back with you again here. I've built the Murphy bed. This is the section that folds up into the cabinet. And for those that you don't, don't know, um, a Murphy bed is a foldable bed that folds up inside a cabinet. And uh, that way it saves a lot of space. This is made out of birch plywood. And this side here is going to be the side that faces inside the cabin when it's folded up. I'm going to mount a table and some folding chairs on that where it folds down. I'll have to show it to you. It's kind of hard to explain. And these plywood edges here on these corners, these will all be hidden. I have some edge mate tape. Not from Australia. So it goes on here. You just put the strip down, then you iron it on because it has a glue backer on it. You can see it right there. We'll see how that works. I've never used it before. And I went and got all my plumbing. It's going to be all done in PEX. Shark bite fittings. <clears throat> Got some nice hangers to keep it uh, nice, good and tight. But that's what a shark bite fitting looks like. Basically, you cut the pipe, you cut this pipe here to length, and you just push it in and it locks down. It's supposed to be leak proof. First time I've ever used it. But we'll find out. I may go back to uh, um, CPVC, that's what I was using before. I got the sink hookups. And I got a whole bag full of goodies there you don't need to see. And I also have the uh, the sink right here. It's going to be a uh, 15 inch. It's like a bar sink. Well, that's actually what it is, a bar, bar sink. It comes with the faucet. You can get these at uh, Home Depot. They're not too bad price. I think they were 99 Well, that's all I have to show you for right now. When I get this, when I get this inside the van and uh, start hooking it up, I will uh, get back to you. Oh, it's going to mount. I didn't want to buy the uh, expensive um, hit uh, swivel system for it that you can buy online. It was just too much money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount boat swivels here boat seat swivels and that should do a great job on it because um, it's going to be sitting about that far back anyway the swivels and that should counterbalance it a little bit and I'll have to do a little thinking about that and make it safe but the seat swivels have been used by several other people that I've seen on YouTube and uh, you know they had really good success with it all right well that's all I have for right now I'm back. I'm out of here. There's my helper. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? He's a funny cat. He's not afraid of tools. He sits up here while I'm screwing screws in and begs for my attention, crawls all over everything, tries to crawl on me. Well, I wish I could figure out how to turn this camera around. I would show you me. You're probably curious. I don't know. I'll spin it around and see if I can get me. Well, here I am. I don't wear these. These are just safety glasses. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm putting the uh, uh, edge strip on the plywood here on the Murphy bed. And um, it really really is quite an improvement. Here's the uh, cut edge of the plywood and here is the edge. This is after it's been uh, glued down with the iron and it makes it look just like a board. You can't tell the difference. Now how well this is holding gonna hold up I have no idea. But even cap the end there, see? That looks like wood on the end too. 
So I've got everything done besides this back edge here. And I was right in the middle of that. I thought I would share it while I was doing it. Um, obviously, I can't finish this part with one hand. I'm going to need both hands. But uh, basically, you just set the iron on its cotton setting, which is about 400 degrees. And you keep the iron moving along. Um, don't leave it on this so long that it'll uh, burn it. And um, here's one I just put on a little while ago. You always got to make sure it cools off completely so the glue sticks good. But this is ready to be sanded off. See the edge it's sticking out? I'll do that real quick here so you can see what that's looking like. like a board now. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Even did the curved areas. I hope this stuff stays on good. It's supposed to. Well, I'm going to get back at it. Thanks for watching. All right, I'm hoping I can get this all on the film. I kind of propped my camera up in the corner there. I'm going to iron this down. So you can kind of see how I do it, in case you wanted to try this yourself. You just can't leave it on there too long and darken the wood up, you know, it could burn the wood. But I actually lean it a little bit on the edge, make sure those edges are hooked down really well. Do the section at a time here, make sure we get it good. Oh, this is a bummer. I see a, a splice in this where they spliced it together. Hmm. I don't like that. At least it's on the back edge of the bed. Yeah, there's a little splice in it right here. I'll be right with you. Okay. I need to talk about okay. And there it is. I hope it works. Thanks.